morning everybody how you doing today my name is chip and i welcome back to the debrinic channel and today we are talking about the colorado river but before we get going if you like this video at the end of it please consider subscribing if not no worries also please consider liking and sharing this to people that may be impacted by the weather events that we're getting ready to talk about as we roll out we're going to go to the colorado river and we're on rain accumulation as seen right here and you can see that the rain accumulation here is going to be a little bit of rain which is good news we still need some rain we'll be looking at the snow map like we did last time you had some Debbie Downers out there saying oh you always say that it's going to do this or that well you always have somebody out there that criticizes you no matter what you do so it is what it is and here we are we're going to start off at windy.com like we always do you can see this is over the next 14 days you can see this goes from Sunday to Sunday two-week period here we'll see what happens we go for the next week you get a little bit of precipitation here not much in the Colorado but beyond that they're predicting more so we'll see what happens we're gonna just go all the way out and do the 14 here up at the beginning of the Green River you're talking about 1.73 possibly now this is the European the GFS they are calling for a little bit less but around the same this is the beginning of the Green River and then here's Flaming Gorge Reservoir here in Wyoming 0.65 we come down to Steamboat Springs 1.19 any of this precipitation we go back to the European 1.11 I'm just going to go back and forth with this real quick now most of this is snow but I just wanted to give you what the water equivalent would be in inches you're looking at near Aspen there 1.46 and then we go to the GFS and they're calling for 0 0.89 so you could see that it's definitely two different opinions two different agreements the icon only goes out five days so we'll just be concentrating on these two currently we come down to Montrose you're talking about 0.54 we go to the European model they're talking about 0.28 the same spot we come down to Telluride right here an inch of precipitation which is I'm sure snow we'll get to that in a minute the GFS 0.73 so similar but not exactly the same we go down to Pagosa Springs down here and you're talking about 0.68 on the GFS the European 0.84 and you go just a little bit to the east there in the San Juan River Valley here you got 1.82 there the GFS they're calling for 0.54 let's go to the new snow accumulation and see what that equivalents about 3.7 in the European though on the other hand is calling for 15 inches so there's a good possibility like over here by Grand Junction 17 inches and down here by Telluride 10 and to the the southwest 13.1 we go over to Cortez you're talking about 7.1 now this is all snow Vell up here 10.8 Aspen 9.6 Steamboat Springs almost a foot Grand Junction which really doesn't get much I know people that live out there our company that I work for they're located out there as well so 10.9 I talk to people out there quite often and frequent just a little story on Grand Junction they say they're in between the two mountain ranges so it's kind of a desert area they very seldom get that much rain the GFS though for Grand Junction is only called about 2.9 I'm gonna believe that over the European on this one just because of where it's located and what I've been told by locals the Green River 0 0.4 we come over to St. George 0 0.2 canab 1.4 now the gfs is calling for more 2.3 so you never know now the salt lake city up here now that goes to the salt lake like schofield reservoir here 8.64 now that goes to the colorado then you come up here strawberry reservoir right here is c strawberry reservoir we're talking about 9.8 and that watershed starts right in here about 12.9 and then when it comes down to uh, starvation reservoir then it comes all the way down here to the green river which you're talking 0 0.9 so this is good news for the western slopes of the green river that ultimately runs into the colorado right here so we'll be watching that as well parachute up here you're talking about 6.2 we go to the european model they're talking about nine so there's a good possibility that you could get some precipitation here we come over here to gunnison over by blue mesa 2.7 and see you come in and this is blue mesa reservoir as said so there's blue mesa reservoir and and then we're going to follow it down to Lake Mead over here. You can see a little bit of precipitation, possibly snow, 2.8. Here's Lake Mead. No snow in Vegas for the European. GFS is calling for no snow, but some up here in the mountains, 0 0.6. We come down to Bullhead, and we'll go back to rain accumulation at this point to see if there's any coming in here. Nothing at Bullhead, Needles, or Havasu. A little bit of precipitation possibly coming. There's still precipitation forecasted for California, some guys said 
that the rain's over in California and he was pretty adamant about it. You're wrong on that. The rain's still coming to California as of today. So anyway, overall for the country, you can see the majority of the rain has shifted more towards the north on the west coast. You get a little bit of precipitation possibly coming across the Midwest. New snow across the country for anybody that's wanting to know. You possibly get a lot of precipitation up on maybe a nor'easter, possibly up here in Maine. A little bit of snow through the northern part of Illinois, all the way down to maybe St. Louis, according to the GFS. No snow coming to Illinois, according to the European model. So we'll see ultimately what happens. There might be a big snowstorm out here in the, the high plains. We'll see what happens. And that's all we have for that. Let's start off today like we always do at Flaming Gorge and see where we go. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, you can see that the current water level is 6,025.80 feet, and we're almost as high as we were last year at this time. That was on Sunday, February 23rd, 2025. At 9 a.m., the level is 21.20 feet below full pool of 6,047. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.05 inches over the last 24 hours. The lake is also up 0.12 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 0.14 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 0.40 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 2.75 feet. However, over the last year, the lake is up 0.01 feet. Inflows are currently 773. And your outflows are currently 919. Let's continue to scoot on to the three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, you can see that your full pool is 6,047. In 2023, we are looking at a level of 6,006.17 feet. Last year, like I said, we're pretty close to the same. So 6,025.79 feet. And today we're looking at 6,025.80 feet, just slightly higher. Inactive pool there is 5,740. Let's roll out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percentage of capacity is 82.07%. Over to Lake Navajo we go next. As we roll out to Lake Navajo, you can see that we we're much higher than 2023 at this point in time, and we're a little bit lower than we were last year at this point in time. The current water level is 6,036.98 feet, and that was on Sunday, February 23rd, 2025 at 9 a.m. The level is 48.02 feet below full pool of 6,085. Changes in Yesterday, the lake is down 0.03 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.29 feet over the last 7 days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.51 feet. And over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.18 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is down 8.95 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 4.94 feet. So lower over the last 12 months, lower across the board. Inflows are currently 196. And your outflows are currently 383. Let's go to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, you can see that the full pool level is 6,085. In 2023, we were looking at a level of 6,017.44 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 6,041.92 feet. Today, we're looking at a level of 6,036.98 feet. And dead pool there is 5,775 feet. We go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percentage of capacity is 60.70 feet. Over to Blue Mesa we go next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa, you can see that the current water level is 7,481.11 feet. And that was on Sunday, February 23rd, 2025 at 9 a.m. The level is 37.89 feet below full pool of 7,519 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is even 0.00 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.34 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.57 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 1.28 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 10.67 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 6.70 feet. Your inflows are currently 467. Your outflows are currently 611. Let's continue to scoot along here. As we go to your three-year bar graph, you can see that the full pool there is 7,519 feet. In 2023, we we're looking at a level of 7,448.04 feet. Last year, we were looking at 7,487.81 feet. Today, we are looking at at 
a level of 7,481.11 feet, a little bit lower, and Deadpool is 7,358. Let's go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to Blue Mesa's percentage of capacity, you can see that your current percent is 61.50%. Let's roll down to Lake Powell next. As we roll out to Lake Powell, you can see that your current water level is 3,563.61 feet, and you can see that it was coming down, and that was still above last year barely and this was sunday february 23rd 2025 at 9 a.m the level is 136.39 feet below full pool of 3700 changes since yesterday the lake is down another 0 0.10 feet over the last 24 hours over the last seven days the lake is down 0 0.98 feet almost a foot you're losing a foot a week that's not good over the last 14 days the lake is down 1.93 feet not quite a foot but almost so over the last 30 days the lake is down 4.2 seven feet so that is over a foot a week over the last 30 days over the last six months the lake is down 13.45 feet it's a little over two feet over the last six months however it has slowed down as seen over the last seven days over the last year the lake is up 0 0.88 feet inflows are currently 5,662 and your outflows are currently 10,703 and we go to three-year bar graph next as we go out to your three-year bar graph, your full pool is 3,700. In 2023, we are looking at a level of 3,521.42 feet. Last year, we are looking at 3,562.73 feet. And today, 3,563.61 feet. So, almost a foot higher. Not real good news. Not bad news, though, either. But very concerning. We'll look and see what the snow percent is here after this. Inactive pool is currently 3,000. 490 in your dead pool is 3,370. Let's go to percentage of capacity. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percent is 33.11%. Not good news. Now we're going to go to your snow report before we go down to Lake Mead. As we roll out to the snowpack, you can see that we're still in third place from the bottom here, and we're only looking at a percentage medium, about 90.81%, and below that was 2018, we were looking at 71%, and below that, in 2021, we were looking at 85.97%, so you can see that we still got a long way to go to even get to the average is at 100, and the median snowpack. 93 for the 30 year and for this year for the 30 year we're looking at 84 percent so we're really lower yet than the average over the last 30 years you come up like to the top at this point in time you're looking at the average is 121 percent so this is a long way from average we're below the median and you go even higher yet on the 23rd the average median over 30 years is 141.21 percent and this is the highest it got was 2023 where we got up to 156 with the average being 152 at that point in time so who knows what will happen we still got a little bit we still have potential time for an increase we might get above average it could happen maybe not i'm happy that we're not at 2018 levels happier that we're above 2021 not as happy that we're as high as in 2022 definitely not as high as 2024 last year so the lakes ought to be trending down if it, if this if this continues and we don't receive some good snow this spring this definitely will continue as we're getting close to spring now so we're going to need some good snowstorms this spring to really increase the levels time will tell it's really hard to say let's roll down to lake mead next as we roll out to lake mead you, you can see that it's coming up and your current water level is 1068.71 feet and that was on sunday february 23rd 2025 at 9 a.m the level 150.89 feet below full pool of 1219.60 feet changes since yesterday the lake is up 0 0.10 feet what lake pal is releasing they're getting so the next in line over the last seven days the lake is up 0 0.55 feet over the last 14 days the lake is up 1.48 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 2.60 feet and over the last six months the lake is up 5.93 feet and over the last year the lake is down 7.46 feet in Flows are currently 13,250. Your outflows are currently 10,500. We continue to scoot along here. As we roll out to your full pool level, you can see that's always 1,219.60 feet. 2023, we 
were looking at a level of 1,047.32 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 1,076.17 feet. Today, we're looking at a level of 1,068.71 feet, so lower than last year, not as good. Inactive pool is currently 950, and your dead pool is currently 895. We continue to go out percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, you can see that your current percentage of capacity is 35.04%. Let's continue to scoot along here. As we roll out to Lake Mojave, you can see that the current water level is 641.88 feet. It is lower than last year. Clearly, you can see that right here. And that was on Sunday, February 23rd, 2025 at 9 a.m. The level is 5.12 feet below full pool of 647. Changes since yesterday, the lake is even steven. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 0.08 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is 0.42 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 1.96 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 0.66 feet. Over the last year, the lake is down 0.67 feet. Inflows are currently 12,224 and outflows are currently 10,300. Go to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, you can see 647 is your full pool level. In 2023, we're looking at 642.57 feet. Last year, we're looking at 642.55 feet. Today, we're lower yet at 641.88 feet. And Deadpool is currently and always 533. We go to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, your current percentage of capacity is 92.20%. Down to Lake Havasu for our final stop. I hope all is well. We talked to B yesterday. And Richard, I hope you're doing well as well. And Supercharge, if you're out there, I hope you're doing good too. As we roll out there to Lake Havasu, your current water level is 446.47 feet. And that was on Sunday, February 23rd. 2025 at 9 a.m. The level is 3.53 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday. The lake is up 0.01 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.15 feet over the last seven days. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.69 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 0.03 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 1.39 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 1.06 feet. Your current inflows are 9,991. Your outflows are currently 9,590. We go to your three-year bar graph next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, your full pool is 450. 2023, we're looking at a level of 447.78 feet. In 2024, we're looking at a level of 447.53 feet. This year, we are looking at a level of 446.47 feet. An active pool is 440 feet, and dead pool is 400 feet. Let's continue to scoot on to percentage of capacity for our final stop. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we are looking at 89.09%. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope all is well. We will see you on the next one. God bless.